to make a 360 render, we only need an acquire rectangular render with a 2 by 1 aspect ratio. Since we don't have this option in EVE, what we are going to do is Place 6 cameras in the same position but filming outside. Imagine them facing this cube's planes. My workflow for this is to make an empty cube to control the 6 cameras. Once you got the empty, create a camera and reset the rotation like I'm doing. I name them and put them into a collection so I can use this for other 360 projects. Remember that the resolution for this part must be 1x1, one one. I'm using 900x900. 900 900. And don't forget to set the camera to field of view, 90 degrees. Repeat the process for the other cameras and parent them to the empty. But keep in mind this method saves time but not storage, and 360 renders need 60 frames per second to be more fluid. Now that you have the cameras ready it's time for the renders. I highly recommend you to first make a test of a 360 frame, when you are happy with it, just render each camera. I'm doing just one frame but if you want an animation, render all the animation of one camera at a time. Render in different folders for more order. This is why I would render the animation of one camera at a time. For the 360 render, create a camera and as I said before, set it to acquire rectangular in cycles, with an aspect ratio of 2 by 1. I'm using a resolution of 4096 by 2048. Don't worry, the render will be very fast. Now we will create an emission cube. Create 6 materials for the 6 cameras, name them for the sake of order and save some time. This process just takes time, assign the faces to the materials, unwrap the faces and this is important, make sure the faces fit like a puzzle. Since it's EV, you can get some seams produced by the lightning. I'm not entirely sure how you can fix these issues, hopefully someone in the comments will help. Time for the final render. I will leave it in real time so you can see how fast it goes. Dot. Now an extra tip, I will show you how you can inject metadata so you can post this as a 360 image or a video. We will check the image using Facebook. The name of the programs used will be in the description. Thank you for watching. Hope this video helps at least one person. You can check my 360 render with this method in my channel. Have a nice day.